My name is Kristen, and we live in Moultrie, Georgia. We've been here about two and a half years, and I'm now serving as a Foundations and Essentials Director and a Support Manager in our area. Are you guys planning on homeschooling through high school? And if so, why? We definitely plan to homeschool through high school. That has just always been a desire of mine. Um, I don't really even know where the desire came from because like you, I was a public school kid all the way through and I was a good student. I made straight A's and things, but I feel like there's so much I didn't learn. I graduated from high school so ignorant and in my adult years, you know, I've read some things or even watched documentaries of history, science, geography. I was just a geography dud. So I think, what did I learn all those years? I can't be doing any worse <laughs> than the education that was provided to me. So I feel confident that I can do, you know, that I can educate my children through high school. And I am a confident person. I think that comes from my mom. She is um, very positive and has always been confident and has instilled a good self-esteem into me. So she used to listen to Zig Ziglar and Brian Tracy. I, you know, I thought Zig Ziglar was some beloved old uncle or something because we always listen to those things. So those, again, are things outside of the classroom that impacted me. And I feel like those are some of the more important things in life. And that the most... Um, the most important times with my kids are not necessarily going to be the time we're sitting around the table putting a pencil to the paper, but just living our life and having a bountiful, amazing life that we can provide to our kids that, you know, we're remodeling our house. And so they're learning all kinds of practical skills. My husband is handing them a paintbrush and saying, let me show you how to do this the right way. And, um, I just, I just think that that's going to serve them well. And, there's so many homeschool resources available, and CC provides so much equipping and so many, you know, so much guidance that I don't think it's going to be hard at all to to finish high school as a homeschooler. Um, and the more we, the more kids I put through all the challenge programs, the better I'm going to get at it. Because hey, I'm looking forward to going through challenge six times. <laughs> you know, do you feel intimidated about? going through these these tough and you know challenging challenge years um i have intimidating moments about going through challenge but overall i think that i have a pretty healthy positive perspective about doing it um because i know how to learn to i do not know 95 percent of what my children are about to learn through the challenge program but they can learn it and i can learn it and I feel like CC has done all the legwork to give us the curriculum, to give us the equipping. And um, I'm a tweaker, so when things don't work, I try to fix them. Um, and I feel like CC kind of has that mentality too. Let's be problem solvers. Let's constantly assess and constantly fix things to make it better and better. So even now in my role as support manager, um, I've been talking to a lot of parents and finding out their intimidations about challenge. You know, some of them said, I do not feel equipped to help my challenge be student with logic. So I said, well, let's do something about that. I, my child's going to be in challenge B next year and I want to be equipped. So our awesome challenge B director has come up with this equipping event that she's going to hold this summer called 3L, or L3, I think she called it, to cover Latin, logic, and lost tools, which seem to be the most intimidating for not just students, but parents. You know, we've really grasped this idea that we have a team of three, the student, the parent, and the director, and we are all strengths in one another's weaknesses. And so I think with our director by our side, who is constantly being equipped by CC, and with my students who, who enjoy learning and are having fun on this journey, if we can keep them motivated and keep them um, loving what we're doing, then how can we not succeed?